Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another collective read for you guys. I hope everyone is enjoying their day today. All right, you guys, so collective. Let's see what's going on, all right? So this can resonate with any sign at all. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? If this doesn't resonate, then you guys can check out some of my other videos that I uploaded within the last day or two. Or check out some of your other favorite readers. The message um, that may resonate may be there for you. Alright, you guys. Let's see what's going on. Alright, Spirit. Most important messages for the collective. I could say he, it could be she, it could be, you know, um, I could say he, it could be she, flip flop the energies around. Did I just say that two times? I don't know, you guys. Miracle. So spirit is telling you to expect a miracle. Okay, there could be some things happening in your life or getting ready to happen in your life if they have not already started happening. That is going to just be mind blowing. Okay, that you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, yes, like, okay, I see you, universe, working with me. All right, so expect some kind of miracle to happen. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Okay, you found it. Okay, maybe you guys have been trying to find yourself again. Okay, blessings of abundance. Oh, some of y'all got some real good stuff coming in. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Some of you guys have been trying to find yourself again. Or maybe some of you guys had to go within and, you know, really dig deep and pull some stuff up out of you that maybe you felt like you didn't have in you, okay? Um, lately, I have been getting a lot of messages about commitment. Like, who or what are you committed to? Is it yourself? Um, is it your journey? Is it your family? Is it your career? You know, um, what is it that you are committed to? That has been a message that has been coming out a lot lately. Um, if you guys have not watched um, my last couple of videos that I have posted, maybe you guys might want to check that out, okay? Um, check those readings out if you guys haven't already. But Yes, whatever it is, Spirit has said, you found it, okay? Expect miracles to happen, um, blessings of abundance, like abundance and love, abundance and money, like, you know, I don't know, I just feel like this is some good stuff that is coming to you guys, and I love it, all right? Let's see here. I'm all happy for y'all. Yay, okay? All right, high five. Yay, y'all. Okay. <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. I like to have fun. I like to laugh. And I want you guys to laugh and be happy, all right? You guys have a lot to be smiling about right now. All right, let's see here. Let's see here, Spirit. Most important messages for the collective, please. Most important messages. Okay, that was two. Most important messages for the collective, please, Spirit. Most important messages. Expect boop, powerful change. Once again, this is a new moon eclipse. Once again, Some of y'all are not expecting or have no idea of the good stuff that is coming in for you guys. Um, but Spirit is saying, expect a powerful change, honey. You thought that it couldn't be done? You didn't believe in miracles? All right, we're going to show you. All right? The universe is getting ready to bless you guys. Let's see. Oh, we had a card that flipped over. You are good enough, okay? 
definitely full moon and Virgo. It is Virgo season. Happy birthday to all of my Virgos. All right. Um, show the world the real you. Show the world the real you, boo. You don't have to be afraid. Show them the real you. All right. You are lovable. You are enough, Spirit is saying. If anybody has ever made you feel like you are not enough, if anyone has ever told you that you are not enough, tell them, screw you, because I am enough, okay? And if they don't see it, then they don't need to be in your life anyway, boo, all right? Because I know you're enough. God knows you're enough. The universe knows that you are enough. So as long as you know, that's all that matters. Okay? All right. Let's see what's up here. Let's see. What is going to be the overall energy for this week? We have higher self. No matter how dark or muddy your path may be, trust the guidance of your higher self. Beautiful message. Trust your higher self. Your higher self is only going to lead you on a path of success, okay? Let's get one more message. You guys know I play my radio because the messages coincide with my reading. So I always have the radio on. Okay, so we got two two cards that came out. We're going to take them. Sexual healing. Sexual healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all know that song. Sexual energy can be used to reconnect. Let your bodies release some tension and enjoy pleasure. Hmm. So I know what some of y'all about to be doing. Yes, honey. So, some of y'all about to be getting it out. We got memories. Someone is walking down memory lane at this time. It's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photos and messages. So, are you guys thinking about somebody reminiscing? Rem I said reminiscing. <laughs> reminiscing on about some of the old times that you shared with somebody remembering how good it was when y'all was together or either somebody thinking this about y'all mm -hmm. very soon at the bottom of the deck be clear about what you want because within a blink of an eye it will be yours that's the miracles and that's that expect that powerful change, okay? Because very soon, it's going to be yours, all right? All right, y'all got some good stuff. Some real good stuff coming. is wishing if you were here with them yes somebody is thinking really heavy about you right now that's what this memories is about and the music like somebody is thinking real hard about y'all they just want you, they want you so bad expectations at the bottom of the deck some of y'all been waiting on this person too to come back we have the main female all right, spirit. Uh-oh. 
All right, Spirit, most important messages for the collector. Yeah, somebody thinking about y'all. Somebody is definitely walking down memory lane. They want y'all bad. We have the wealthy man. Hmm. Yeah, somebody wants y'all to have. They thinking about they, what they would do if y'all was there with them. Okay, official person. This person can be in the army. This can be somebody of very high ranks. This could be a CEO. Doesn't have to be. But whoever they is, they official. Somebody is feeling so sad right now. They is missing y'all so bad. This is that song by Michael Jackson. Yes. You are not alone. I am here with you. And though you're far away. Yes, y'all know I can't sing. Stop playing. But y'all know y'all see what I'm saying? Like somebody is really in their feelings. Somebody like Somebody is missing the heck out of somebody here. Wow. You are always in my heart. Family room. Someone can, can be getting ready to come and visit you. Or somebody is missing you. You see how there's nobody here in this family room? It's just empty. There's nothing but pictures and memories and just... It's empty. Somebody feels really empty right now without you. Community. Hmm. And concern all right so let's see thoughts I told y'all somebody up in their head thinking about y'all they missing y'all they feel empty inside this person is missing you so bad right now like I feel it like something they is sad somebody can even be crying right now just sitting looking at your pictures reading through text messages just trying to figure out what happened Tell me about this main female. Tell me about this main female. Tell me about this main female, please, sir. Oh, somebody sad. Poor Snooky Panushis. Oh. This person is like, just say the word and I'll come running back. Like, just say it and I'm on my way. Dang, y'all. High Priestess. Some of you guys can be readers. Some of you guys can be very intuitive, very balanced in your energy, holding a lot of secrets, not speaking. She who knows. The High Priestess has a lot, a lot of knowledge. And knows a lot of things, but she doesn't speak on it. Okay. The initials B and J can be significant to someone here. That could be someone's name. Okay. Tell us about this main female. It's 
I told y'all somebody said they coming. They coming rushing in. This person is coming full speed ahead. This person might even come in and doing something or saying something real impulsive, but this person cannot hold back any longer. They are coming. All right. There may have been some secrets that have been hidden here. Um, maybe you know about some things that was going on with this person, but you never said anything about it. You just kept it all to yourself. Or maybe you know what I'm saying, and you use it. Maybe your intuition is telling you that this person is on their way in and they can no longer hold back. I'm telling you, they looking at the pictures, they looking at, you know what I'm saying, text messages. This person is they they you know what I'm saying? They they, they missing it, babe. They missing it. They missing you. They coming. They coming. This is a very, very spiritual connection that you have with this person. Maybe this person has finally made up their mind. And maybe this person is like, I'm choosing. I'm choosing. I choose you. I want to be with you. Nothing else out here is fulfilling me. You know, I thought the grass was green on the other side. But I see now that it's not. Tell me about this wealthy man. Letting go of all the, um, the uh, passionate responsibilities, ten of wands. Somebody here has been carrying these responsibilities and carrying this relationship, carrying these burdens for a very long time. Like, with no help. No help. They see the destination. They see it in front of them. The destination is to get to this house here. But dang, I can't get no help. I've been carrying this, this, these burdens for a very long time. I'm ready to let it go. It's over. I'm dropping it. I can't do it anymore. That's the end. It's ending. got the seven of pentacles looking at these investments this is long-term investments seeing is it worth investing like i've invested a lot of time and energy and money into this now i want to see if this is going to go anywhere it could be a marriage or this can just be coming together this can be a contract this can be your twin flame 11 11 definitely could be a twin flame connection here for those of you who resonate with the twin flame Somebody feels like they've invested a lot of time into this connection. And they know that they need to release some of the things that they were more passionate about when, you know, over, that they chose over you. I feel like in this connection. Maybe this person thought that this was never going to go anywhere. You guys could have possibly been through um, many of cycles with this person over and over and over again, giving this person chance after chance after chance after chance, or either they kept giving you chance after chance after chance. I don't know. Flip it around. What's this official person? They coming, baby. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You about to start getting a lot of emails, phone calls, text messages. Baby, it's coming in and it's coming in fast. I told y'all, this person is, they not waiting no more. They not about to keep on waiting. They can't hold back. This person is missing the hell out of you right now. This Or this person about to pop up at your house. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize for the things that I did. I apologize for the things that I said. I apologize for hurting you. I'm sorry. Y'all about to get a message. Hmm. We have the three of cups. Are they sorry maybe about a third party situation? 
the hangman. Let's see. Because the Three of Cups could be about a celebration, coming together and celebrating. They in their head. They're trying to figure out, they're trying to be real analytical about the situation. How do I say what I need to say? How do I word this? They all up in their hair right now. They are strategically thinking exactly how they are going to say what they need to say to you. And like I said, some of these, some of these, for, for some of you guys, somebody wants to apologize for putting you in a third party situation. Maybe this person felt like this, this connection was not going to grow. It wasn't going to go anywhere. Yes. Y'all know that new song by Neo? Don't love me? When he speaks about, it'll be selfish for me to ask you to stay. Don't love me, just walk away. Wow. Please, oh, please, don't love me. You'll be better off. Yes. If y'all don't know that song by Neo, that new song by Neo, Don't Love Me, y'all need to check out that song and listen to it. It's deep. He like, I'm only going to hurt you. Please don't love me. Just walk away. And I felt like maybe y'all could have felt like this is what this person really was trying to say to you, but never said it to you. Or maybe this person, they was juggling. They feel like it got too easy for them to lie to you. A lot of them feel like they broke your self-esteem, okay? This person just was doing too much. That's why they in their head and they trying to figure out how do they apologize? What is it? What, what do I need to say? How am I going to say this? How am I going to word this? I don't know, but I'm missing them so much. I can't help but just to think about them so much. I apologize. I'm sorry. Wow. Ooh, tell me about this family room, please, spirit. <sighs> we got the chariot. Somebody's ready to st for a fresh start. Somebody is, you know, ready to, to take this leap of faith. You know what I'm saying? At this point in time, I feel like this person don't even care how it's going to go. All they know is they getting ready to go for it. Okay. They find in the willpower to come to you and talk to you. This person it may be getting ready to drive to your house and come and see you. This person don't want you to move on. They don't. This almost is almost like the last reading that I did. Like, you know, we have the Ace of Swords, but it came out in the reverse. It came out in the reverse. Somebody's not clear on a decision. Maybe you guys are not very clear on if you are ready to accept this person back in your life. Somebody is stuck. Trying to get enlightened on the situation. Not really for sure on what it is that they need to do. They're not sure about a decision. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe this is you guys. Maybe you guys are just like, I don't know. I just, I, I you know what I'm saying? I just feel like maybe I just need to move on at this point in time. Like, I, I'm not sure. Huh. 
And maybe you guys are going to actually have to sit down in the family room and talk about this with this person. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to tell this person. Like, I'm not sure. Like, you know, you I, I, maybe I need some time. I may need some time. This came out in the challenge position, the higher funds. You guys can be dealing with the Taurus. Okay? This is a very high spiritual connection. We see this here with the lovers and the four of wands and now the higher font. This is a challenge. This relationship, this situation, this relationship has challenged you. It's a challenge to get to this higher end connection. It's a challenge to get to, you know, to get you guys to come together and be together and for it to be real like you know and you feel like it should be and it's supposed to be. It's a challenge getting here. There can be too many people involved with the community. It can be too many people involved. Yeah. Third party situation. This person completely crushed your heart. Like you had to, oh my God, this person did you so dirty. Like I feel this three of swords energy. Oh my God. And it hurts. Nobody wants to feel this. How can you say you love me? But you hurt me time and time again. Some of you guys, this person, you could have gave this person three times. This person did you dirty three times. And that's why I feel like a lot of you guys are unsure. Like, I don't know if I should even give you another chance. And you not being too for sure, baby. And I'm... It, this may be causing a lot of conflict and chaos. This can it could be a lot of fighting. It's like too many people just fighting maybe for the same thing. Like fighting for some attention. Fighting to be heard. You guys can be arguing and fighting because it's like it's too many people involved in this situation. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? You just want to be happy. Leo, the sun. You just want to be happy. What's this concern? What is this person concerned about, spirit? Tell us what this person is concerned about. Because they know that they hurt you time and time and time and time again. And you are willing to still fight. You like, you know what? I've been through the ringer. I am beat up. I am hurt. I am everything. But I still have a little bit of fight left in me. Do you want to try it again? Do you really want to try this again with me? Like, how much more do you think I can take? I can't take any more. How much more are you going to try to beat me down? I can't take any more. And this person is concerned because they know how bad they hurt you. They know. That's why they all up in their head. They thinking about it. They feeling it. This is like self-sabotaging their self and their thoughts and their feelings they feel it everything that they did to you everything they did to you they feeling it now this person feels like they cannot get out of their thoughts it feel, they feel like they are trapped in their thoughts. Obsessively thinking. Give me one more with this concern, spirit. They've been trying to forget about you. They've been trying not to think about you. They've been trying to get out there. But I feel like even when this person is at work, all they can do is think about you and everything that they did to you to hurt you. They try to take their mind off of you by just working and working and working and working and working, but it's not working. It's not working. 
All they can do is just think about you. How much they hurt you. How much pain they caused. This person has a lot of love for you. This person can even maybe drinking a lot to try to bury the emotions, to try to deal with the hurt and the pain of you moving away from them and leaving them out in the cold. They just want a new turn. They just want another try. They want another try. I don't know. Some of y'all just like, oh. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can. I, I can't trust you. I don't know if I should be able to. Like you, you, you never told me the truth about anything. You know what I'm saying? I still don't know the truth. I still don't know the truth. clarify this knight of swords what is this person rushing in for what's this knight of swords why are they rushing in spirit hmm because they can't sleep at night they want to invest in this connection they not sleeping they up all night they i'm telling you this this person is trapped in their thoughts they can't think about nothing else at this moment in time they can't they have a nightmares. They up all night. They can't sleep. But they, you, some of y'all may, if this is y'all twin, some of y'all can feel the energy of this person not doing very well right now. Because if you feel another energy and you're like, well, wait a minute, like, this is not my energy. I'm not sad. I ain't upset. I'm not tripping. I ain't nothing. I'm happy. Like, why am I feeling like this? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's your person's energy that you're picking up on. They want to invest in this. They see this as something that can grow, something very long term. Like, I don't know why they didn't see it before. But it's hunting this person, literally hunting this person right now. All the secrets they kept from you. Huh. Here we go with this Taurus energy again. The Hierophant. All right. Some of you guys are strongly dealing with the Taurus, okay? Spirit, what is this Ten of Wands here? Spirit, what's this, what's this Ten of Wands? They want to reconnect with you. This is somebody from your past. They want to reconcile with you again. This is another twin flame card. This could be someone that you shared a past life connection with. Maybe you've been going through this, this these changes with this person for a lifetime. Maybe y'all were supposed to come together and get it right this lifetime. Or maybe you were supposed to teach them a lesson. Or maybe they were supposed to teach you a lesson. Or maybe both of y'all were supposed to teach each other something this lifetime. But this is somebody that you have been with before. This is somebody that you have known for a very long time and they want to come back. 